and we have a winner for the finals MVP, and it's an interesting one. I haven't really taken a look at all these votes, but yeah, hard to go past this one. So do you want to go starting at it? number one? Yep. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Well, with double votes on the line in the grand final, Bobby Hill pulled eighteen mm. to give himself thirty six. He was one of the few Pies players that had polled in, in weeks prior. Like there were obviously a lot of them polled against GWS. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think it was a clean slate for him, but and then uh, okay, clean sweep I should say. And then I think a few, obviously a few had it in the win over Melbourne. Although Max Gorn I think took out best on ground for that game. Yeah. So that was obviously going to be impacting a few votes. But Bobby Hill, um, forty eight votes to finish uh, the final series. So as mentioned, thirty six of those came. Uh, from the grand final he pulled 12 votes in the win over Melbourne so um, that gives him top spot for our finals MVP for 2023 uh, in second place was Sam Walsh 41 votes so played three finals as well and polled in all three finals I think he was one of the, only a couple players to poll in in every final they played in mm -hmm. um, equal third Kadeen Coleman and Hume Cluggage so uh, Coleman polled uh, 11 votes in, from the grand finals. That'll double to 2022. Uh, and McCluggage polled seven, so that added to 14. And he polled that 20 vote game in round in the in week one of finals. So yep. he had a, a very good, or well, I think, and Coleman polled 20 the week before uh, in the prelim. So, or oh, actually, might have been 18. So they, those two, yeah, again, adding to you really you need to be polling, you know, in two to three games to be up in toward the top of the order. Tom Green is another one that polled in all three finals he played in. 34 votes to come fifth. Jack Crisp, 29 votes. I think 28 of those, given it was doubled, yep. uh, came in Saturday's game. He was huge as well. A couple Great of goals. Game, yeah. um, arguably, you know, Collingwood, you, some could consider him Collingwood's best player. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think most will have Bobby Hill, but certainly could consider him um, Pies number one man. Jordan Dugo, 26 votes. Uh, obviously, I think he had 20 for the prelim and picked up about three, so double that into six. Yep. Uh, and then just to round out this order, Josh Kelly, 25 votes, still side bottom, 22 votes. Max Gordon, Stephen Cornelio, 20 votes each at 10th. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we Bobby Hill, finals, MVP, yeah. yeah it was, so just to kind of go through uh, the grand final votes, so Bobby Hill, as mentioned, 18. These all get doubled. Mm -hmm. uh, Jack Crisp, 14. Kadeen Coleman, 11. Hugh McCluggage, 7. Tom Mitchell, 6. Jordan Ngoi, 3. And Joe Danher got a vote. I, think that was, yeah. I gave him one vote. It was really hard to put him ahead of Coleman, but I think as we mentioned, the the second half fade when the game was on the one throughout from you know, from quarter one and, and Coleman yeah. was... Argue, was probably the best player in the first half, but his second half was probably just let him down a little bit. Um, thought Danaher was consistent throughout. You know, he maybe missed that set shot, but um, just his involvement in the game probably just deserved a little bit more. I thought so. Yeah, uh, Coleman still pulled plenty of votes as he did in the in the Norm Smith as well. But um, Bobby Hill again, um, the standout, and thanks to that performance, takes out our finals MVP. Yeah. Big performer. Any um any surprises there? Like for me, uh, side bottom coming in ninth is uh, probably a bit lower than I would have had him. But again, I don't vote on the MVP. So um, as in lower as in you thought he should be higher. A little bit, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I thought he had a pretty strong. Um, it is, I, I'm looking at the list. It is hard to put him ahead of anybody there. But um, as far as Saturday's yeah. game, yeah, I I don't think he would have cracked maybe the top four or five Collingwood players. Yeah, right. I think you have Crisp, Mitchell, Dugowie. With Hill, yeah, um, it's just such an even spread. It was, it was yeah. very hard to vote on. Uh, I think we, yeah, you know, like I said, usually, you know, I think we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven players earn votes. Um, so it, it was well spread. And you're right, so what I'm certainly could have picked one up. Um, you know, there's a few other players that maybe could have threw out. Yeah, um, but he had he had 16 votes in in that week one. So I think he was the best Pies player in their in their qualifying final win over Melbourne, and then he picked up six votes in mm -hmm. the um in the prelim. So yeah, he probably only needed a, a he still needed a few to take a lead or, or probably push a bit higher. But it was it's a close finish overall, really. Um, you know, I would have given him a couple of extra votes just for kicking that winning goal. It was from, at, that was like a what huge was clearly moment. beyond his range. I don't know how yeah. he got that through, but uh, yeah. No, shout out to everyone there. That's a that's a pretty good looking list. Yeah.